In this video, we'll be going over how to condense the logarithmic expression. I have several examples here. Uh, the main things to remember is that if something's being added, then that means the number inside the log, it's going to go on the top of the fraction. And if the log is being subtracted, then the number is going to go on the bottom of the fraction. And if there's a number in front of the log, then that number becomes the exponent power. These are going to make a little bit more sense when we take a look at the examples. So number 23, we have log base 4, 7 minus log base 4, 10. So let's start by just copying over the log base 4, because that's not going to change. And then let's just put a fraction here. So we have 7. There's a positive number. There's a positive in front of the 7. And if there's a positive, it means that number goes on the top. So that means that 7 is going to go on the top right there. And then there's a negative right here. And that negative means that the 10 is going to go on the bottom. All right, number 24. We see this in natural log, so we'll carry the ln, and we'll start by putting a fraction. There is a positive in front of ln of 12, so that 12 is going to go on the top. Positive means the number goes on the top of the fraction. And there's a minus, so then this 4 is going to go on the bottom of the fraction. And then this, this simplifies to ln of 3. Number 25, we see there's ln, which is natural log, so we'll start by writing ln and then putting in a fraction. So there's a big number six, there's a number in the front, so that becomes a power. And there's a positive right here, so we're going to put x on top. And that six just becomes an exponent. And there's another positive right here. And so we'll put the y on top. And then this four just becomes the exponent of the y, so I'll be four. And since there's nothing on the bottom, we could just get rid of the fraction and bring that down. Number 26. We'll start by writing the log. Um, and there's a positive right here, so we'll start by putting the x on top of the fraction. This number in the front of the log, the number in front becomes the power. So now we're going to raise x to the power of 2. There's another plus right here, so this 11 is going to go on the top of the fraction. So this is going to be 11x squared. Number 27. Start by transferring over the log base 5 and add a fraction. Um, there's a positive right here, so this four goes on the top. And then there's another plus, um, so that means that the x is going to go on the top. And this number in front of the log, that just becomes the exponent. So it's going to be x raised to the power of 1 third. Number 28. Start with the ln. Put a fraction. There's a, there's a plus right here, a positive, so that means that the 2 is going to go on the top of the fraction. And then this 6 in front of the ln, that just becomes the power, so it's going to be 2 raised to the power of 6. Now there's a subtract or a minus here, and so that means this y, if it's subtract, that, that's going to go on the bottom of the fraction. So we'll put down the bottom, and this 4, that just becomes the power. So you can see that if it's subtract, the, the thing inside the log or the natural log goes on the bottom. Um, if it's positive, then then that's going to go on top. If there's a number in the front of the ln or the log, then that just becomes the powers. Number 29. We'll start by writing natural log and setting up a fraction. We have a plus 2. So there's this 2 is going to go on the top. And there's a number in front of 5. So, and that's going to become the power. We have another plus right here. So we'll put this x on the top. And there's the 7 in front, that just becomes the power. And then we have another plus. And so that y goes on the top. And there's a power of 4. I mean, there's a co there's number of 4 in the front, a coefficient 4. So that becomes a 4. And then the last one, number 30. We'll start by writing out the log base 3 and put setting up a fraction. We have a positive, And there's, there's a 4, so that goes on top. We have another plus, um, and this is 1 half, so that's going to go on the top. And there's a number in front of 2, so that becomes the power. And then we have another plus, and that's just x, so then x goes on top. And then, again, if there's nothing on the bottom, you can just take up that as 1, or you can just get rid of the fraction and just bring it down.